Hello everybody, my name is Light of Hand and today I will be taking a look at the Shadows of Brimstone Hellfire Succubus's Mission Pack. Uh, hey guys, um, sorry it's taken me so long to actually get this uh, done. This should have been done at the weekend, had a load of things happened, I really really apologise. Okay, so let's get to actually the fluff and hopefully it's not too bad for you. Lava and ash pour out from the shining gateways, or shimmering gateways, connecting to the fury of Caverns of Cinder. To the mortal world of humanity, scorching the ground beneath their hoof feet, the alluring hellfire succubuses are hideous demons that have taken on an arousing, I think it's arousing, gusk to bewitch and corrupt the weak minded mortals of Earth. As a vanguard for the burning depths, the Hellfire Succubuses are the hab habengers of the greater evil, working tirelessly to break the bonds of the bonds of their master, so that they, that he may spread ruin across cro across all of reality. Okay, guys. So also at the bottom here, it talks about what else you sort of get there. Right. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a quick look at, I believe this is the, there's the Het Succubus Witch, is it? The, let's have a quick look. Yes, this, uh, the Hellfire Succubus Witch. I got this because I bought the mission pack and let's have a quick look at, this is part of it. I've got another little bit down there as well, so let's zoom in. Now this one actually does look really good. I do like the detail on her. She, her face is at least there, not like my... Samurai from the other day. Um, so yeah, that does look really kind of cool. I do. I'm, I'm not a big fan of resin, guys. Never have been. So I'm not going to be that person. That goes, oh yeah, this is amazing. No, I'm not a fan of resin in that sense. But the detail is there, and I give it a lot of credit. It's just even for someone who doesn't like painting very much, I've had a hard time painting some of the heroes. Um, so yeah, so this is the stand that she comes with. Okay, you also get six other stands. I'm only showing one of the three sprues for the Hellfire Succubuses. As you can see there. So, yeah. Let's get a little closer in. The models don't look too bad. Um, the other thing I'm, I'm really liking about this pack is it's giving Caverns of Cinder something more to do. Because one of the problems with Caverns of Cinder is when I go there I don't feel like there's a lot there so I'm really happy this has happened now I do have to say this tile looks amazing and I believe this is the mine tile I do like the fact there's some human bones even some like what well, could be an animal I'm not sure which one could be a hellfire rat really um, so you got the story characters the hellfire burn markers a token for the witch so you don't really need the actual You've got, yeah, some other bits, but this is the other bit that's got me. There's the Lava Man tokens, and there's also some Hellfire Rats. That interests me. On this side, the Caverns of Cinder, because you can also see the rules for the caverns. That's one thing I've, I've liked. Every world you go to, there's different types of rules and stuff like that. And that's been really cool for me. Okay, so let's put that down for a minute. You also get... I should, let's read this now, read this first, okay. Right, so let's put my hand up here. The Hellfire Succubus Adventure. So this is if you wanted to do an adventure that's basically based around the Hellfire Succubuses, and it's mostly going to be this. The heroes may choose to make an uh, a mission for the Hellfire Succubus Adventure with the following modifiers. The Hellfire Encounters. So that's this deck that's over there, which I've got to try and keep separate, each one. And that's going to be fun. <laughs> um... Yeah, encounters. So whenever the hero draws one one or more encounter, even even in another world, roll a d6. On a 1, 2, or 3, they must draw a Hellfire encounter. Common enemies. Hellfire succubuses. Whenever a threat card is, would be drawn, roll a d6. On a roll of 1, 2, 3, instead of the, health, uh, instead of the heroes, instead the heroes are attacked by Hellfire succubuses. On which a roll of 1, also includes the ooh, 
Hellfire Witch, now that's not good. That's different. Don't like that. Because I don't know how good she is yet, if I'm honest. Okay, so the Hellfire traits, uh, whenever encountering the enemy, uh, roll a d6 and a 1, 2, 3, draw a health, Hellfire Succubus trait card. That's something else that interests me as well. Okay, the one thing, one of the things I never ever show in the game is the actual thing. Uh, encounter cards, but 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 encounter cards there, guys. You also get one map tile, which... Uh, my mapped uh, card for Hellfire. And inside, that is the throne room. That's kind of cool. And that's the advanced card. Encounter. Even though that's out in the Caverns of Cinder, it has also has the encounter card for it. So that's... Oh, excuse me. That's interesting. And this one here is... The Cinder Ritual Room. This would be cool if you got the models for the uh, Crimson Hand to be standing around chanting because they've been... Ah, uh, oh, sorry, my brain just goes into this sort of thing, sorry. And um, Fire Spirit is the... if you're playing with any of the advanced rules. So, I'm going to do it by the low and work my way up. I've set it up wrong here, sorry guys. So, with the low fret cards, you get... are they both the same? Yeah, they're both the same. Okay. You get D3 plus one Hellfire Succubuses. So they're both the same then. Then the medium fret. You also get one peril dice, both the same, of Hellfire Succubuses. Now, I'm not sure how deadly they are yet, to be honest. I'm not sure I would send a level one character up against these guys. But if you're up for the challenge, do it. The high is automatically six. So you could get that at a medium with a, a chance. It's one of the things I like about this game, so random, just so, so random, and I love that. Okay, so these are two different sort of cards. So these are the, if you wanted to do a Cavern of Cinder um, themed deck, you could use these to make sure that they're the epic threat that you'll meet at the end of the game. Don't have to. I, I don't, actually, and it's, the games are so random nowadays, I might start having to do a themed deck, but I am also trying to work out a nice big case now for my cards. <laughs> Hellfire Witch and a Cavern and Caverns of Cinder. But uh, one, two, three. What? Uh, oh, sorry, low. Sorry, a low threat card. I apologise. A low threat card for one, two heroes, or uh, for three or four heroes. It's a peril dice of succubuses and a threat card. So threat cards are included. This is dangerous as hell. So five, six a party, which I've never played with five, six party. If I'm honest, I've only ever played up to four. And that's generally me. Oh no, I have played with three other people. This, so yeah, um, is the Hellfire Succubus and one oh six Hellfire Succubuses and one Threat Card plus. I believe the no, the Witch isn't included on this. Ah. But then this time it no, it does it does say the Hellfire Witch? So and what's down there? So yep. So this time it then goes Hellfire Witch and two. So. At first, I'd be like, oh, that means nothing. But that's why the, this pack suddenly becomes a lot more interesting there. Okay, show that, show that. And now let's go to the Darkness cards for a second here, guys. So with the Darkness cards, I'm just going to do that. There's only four of them. So I'm going to pick this one here. I don't know what it is. I haven't had a chance. Please be something I can read. Okay, so the Ritual... Okay, it's not Zoom. It's not focusing. I had to come in. Sorry, guys. So the artwork's basically the front artwork. Hey ho. Okay, so it's called the Ritual Fire. Sorry, I thought I said that. Um, every hero takes four horror hits for each sanity damage taken from these uh, horror hits. The hero also gains a burn mark, and that's kind of scary. Not bad, bad, but kind of scary. Okay, so the threat these these threat cards I'm going to show. Okay, the Hellfire Succubuses. Again, that's you know one, two, three, sort of. There's two of them, there's no difference. Actually, no, there's three. Okay, so, <laughs> fair enough. Um, Hell's Hounds, which is the, so what's the difference? Are they, are they, do they have a trait or is it all just the same? Sorry, I need to check this because sometimes these, they, no, it's all just the same. That's kind of cool. But, the Hell Hounds, which is basically your Hell Vermin. Hell Hounds are a variant of, her, um, 
help her, I mean, yes. Have the following thing. Have the keyword now of Cinder. Uh, invisible at a distance. Heroes may... Heroes may only assign hits to Hailhounds if they're adjacent. Now that's scary. So you want the hand-to-hand -hand combat guy really to be taking these things on. Um, wow. Devil's Dew gains plus one combat. For, for each corruption slash mutation the target has. Plus five XP. Wow. That's dangerous. For each point of combat slash... Mm. And so there's two of those. That's made them so much more dangerous. And dark lava men. So this is interesting. So there's another set of lava, a uh, different variant of lava men. Okay, so the dark lava men are follow with sorry. They have dark stone radiation. A hero ends their movement adjacent, takes one corruption. So could you imagine having the hounds and this thing near you? You'd be Panicking. Um, Dark Stone Hunger. Plus one damage for each attack. For each attack. For each Dark Stone or icon the target has. So basically, if you've got this really good gear, but it has Dark Stone, or you've been carrying a chest with a load of Dark Stone, all of a sudden this got a lot more dangerous. I like that, uh, Flying Frog. Well done, sirs. Well done. Okay, so we got the. Magic, uh, shadow magic. So there's some more shadow magic cards here. I'm not sure if these are just for the succubuses, or that I have to add it to the deck I've got upstairs, which I got with um, Bial. Bial. Let's turn this around. And um, this is the Fires of Temptation. Okay, each hero must place a number of burn markers equal to the number of corruption points they currently have into any space adjacent to them limit of one per space after all the markers are placed each hellfire marker bounces like dynamite oh, before it's erupting like dynamite that is dangerous that's scary okay so now we're on to the uh, traits now, I'm not sure what's going on with these so Let's grab this one and let's have a look. Born of Flesh. Oh. Hellfire Succubuses lose their Hellfire D. Oh, Hellfire Demon ability and are now reduced to melee plus five. Heroes are minus one on any to roll hits assigned to the Hellfire Succubuses. If they, if they can no longer hit. They may, they may not, they may not be assigned, assigned to them. Rolls of six still count as criticals. Oh wow! If they, if the roll to hit no long, long, okay. So, wow, that's not good. So, born of flesh. That sounds like a woman's become one of them. Oh wow, that's really cool actually. Hellfire succubus, a demon cinders. It has a medium sized stand, has initiative of 8, so basically no one's doing really well against them unless you've got quick draw with the uh, gunslinger. Uh, ferocious claws. Heroes are plus minus 1 to their defense. Rolls against the Hellfire Succubuses. Combat rolls. Defen uh, defense of 4 plus would then need to be fight. Wow! <laughs> At least armor is still there. Hellfire Succubuses are, are immune to Hellfire and. Burn markers. Female fatality. Ooh. Hellfire succubuses are immune to critical hit, critical hits from males, and are plus one combat when targeting females. So basically, now this is the only time I've known the game to actually have something where it's got if you're female, male or female. That's interesting. They move at seven, so they're quite good. They're not easy to escape from because they have a five plus. Their melee is three. 3 plus, they have a combat of 3, they have a damage of 2, so no, that's not too bad. They have a defense of 3, that's not great. They have a def uh, health of 7, and they are also 35 XP. Let's read some of the traits here. Pure Evil, Hellfire Succubus's combat is now 
plus two damage. Now that's not great. Barb tail hell by hellfire succubuses hit uh, rolls on five six. Now ignore defense. Oh, that's not good. Uh, hypnotic sway plus one defense. Solar eyes plus five health. Damn, they when they get their ability, they get quite good. Withered, withering fl withered flames plus one initiative. Any hero ending their move adjacent to one or more hellfire succubuses must pass an agility test at five, or immediately take burn markers. That's not great. Uh, sorry, guys. I need to make sure I can read this and make sure it's focused for you guys as well. Unholy spike plus one combat and all. Unholy heroes end their movement on the same map tile as one or more Hellfire Succubuses. Take D3 Corruption hits. Also, any time a nun successfully casts a sermon, they take D6 Corruption points. Let's have a look what's here on the other side. So this is the brutal side. So they get, oh excuse me, uh, they get initiative of 9, they have ferocious claws, any uh, heroes are minus 1 to their defense rolls, same, um, same, and same, uh, the movement's the same, the escape is the same, I believe melee is the same, but their combat is now 4, their defense is 3, sorry, their def damage is 3, defense is 3 still as well, they have f uh, 12 health, now they're worth 50 XP each. Pure evil, is that the same? Yep, that's the same. Bobtail's the same. Hit the hemp's way. Soulless Hunger is now gives them plus. So they have 20 health. That's scary as hell. Weathering Flames is still the same. And so is Unholy Spite. Okay, guys. Well, that basically now leaves me only with a vampire pack. I will try to film that this week. As I've got time off work. Um... I'm not saying I'm going to release it straight away, but I am going to at least try and have it filmed so I don't have the problem I had this weekend, where I was so shattered I couldn't actually get around to doing stuff. Um, hence why the Necromunda video was late, hence why this video was late, and so on. Anyway guys, I apologise. So, if you like this video, please click like. If you'd like to subscribe, please do. If you'd like to leave a comment, everyone is welcome. So get it guys. Have a good day and goodbye.